When come to gray on map, we are asked to solve this problem. We have this circle at some here O, and it is overlapping the square A, B, C, D, and the diameter is drawn from G to E, of course passing through center O, which is a uh, 3 plus 3 units, 6 units in total for the diameter. So from point O to E is the radius, which is 3. And uh, the square is actually uh, five unit uh, five unit uh, side length, and this is uh, we have this a uh, point of tangency at f, and uh, I mean the side of the square and the point on the circle, and from point uh, f to point e, which is sorry, uh, uh, we connect a line. E to F and it is labeled as uh, X. So we are required to find the length of segment X. Okay, so first thing that we may consider is we can draw a line from a center O upwards. And this should be perpendicular to uh, this uh, side of the square. So let's put a perpendicular symbol. And notice that the radius of the circle is 3. So this is actually, if we draw a line from O to F, this is actually 3 units. And if the total of the total length of the square is 5, then this length is actually a uh, 5 uh, minus 3 or is equal to 2 units. Okay, so H E by Pythagorean theorem is simply the square root of uh, the hypotenuse square. So 3 is the hypotenuse, so we square this minus uh, the other leg or h o square so that is two square so h e is equal to the square root of uh, nine minus four and therefore h e simplifying we have square root of five units okay so i labeled this uh, perpendicularity of uh, o to segment a e as h and next is we focus on this uh, uh, triangle H O I mean H E O. Okay, so we are going to find the length of uh, H E for this step. Okay, so next is I have labeled this uh, perpendicularity of the segment drawn from O to A E to be H, and we focus on this triangle O H E. And we use uh, Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this uh, HE. Perfect. So now for the final step, so uh, the uh, length of X is simply, uh, this is actually the hypotenuse of this uh, uh, right triangle of uh, HFE. So HFE. So it is the square root of uh, 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 2 plus 3 squared plus square root of 5 squared. So we have uh, x is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus uh, 5. Okay, so 25. Plus 5, so this becomes 25, so plus 5, this becomes 30. So uh, the value of x is actually uh, square root of 30 units, and that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon 
So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.